We have breaking news for you. A magnitude 6.9 earthquake struck off the coast of Iwate Prefecture in northeastern Japan at 8.06 Japan time on Tuesday. The Japan Meteorological Agency is warning of a one-meter tsunami. It is approaching Iwate Prefecture. Anyone in that area should listen to local authorities and disaster management officials for information and instructions. JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami advisory is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency says people in those areas should evacuate to a safer place, such as a high ground or an evacuation building. When tsunami hits, it may cause serious damage. Tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave the safe place until the warning is cleared. JMA is calling on people in the area where the tsunami warning is issued to leave coastal areas or riversides immediately. The agency is telling them to evacuate to a safer place, such as high ground or an evacuation building. Damage due to tsunami is expected. Tsunami will hit repeatedly. Do not leave the safe place until the warning is cleared. Once again, this breaking news coming into us, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake struck off the coast of Iwate Prefecture in northeastern Japan at 8.06 Japan time on Tuesday. The Japan Meteorological Agency is warning of a one meter tsunami approaching Iwate Prefecture. People in areas around the coastline should evacuate to high ground. Please listen to local authorities. We'll bring you more. Wow, look at Japan just got hit with a 6.9. I was looking at the quakes here yesterday. They had some pretty deep five pointers. And then way down right here by the South Sandwich Islands, they had a 6.2 earlier and that was shallow. That was only 10 kilometers. Here's the map scale down here. This is 200 miles down here on the left. And well, another one just popped up. Now they're saying there's two, 6.9 and a 6.8. But that 200 mile scale, Fukushima is right in here. So it's less than that, but they have other nuke plants. Here's this Onagawa, and then up here there's one. I don't know why these are in red if they're having troubles with both of them. Okay, the 6.8, that was closer to land. And they issued some tsunami statements here. And it looks like they issued about three or four statements five and there's no warnings or watches in it but looking at the buoy map you can see there's actually three buoys going off here the first buoy shows about a one meter deviation and the second buoy is showing about a one meter as it gets towards the end here and the third buoy is about the same it builds up to about one meter five one two five twenty Five one two four twenty is down here, and here's a picture of that buoy. It's owned and maintained by the Japanese Meteorological Agency. Here's the Arso map. It's going up too. And I was looking at this. It looks like a volcano, but it's actually um, in Hawaii. It's these jellyfish. Eighty-four beachgoers got stung by jellyfish, and they were saying that it's. They were kind of surprised that they were showing up at this time this time of the year. And then if you look down here on the Arthur map, this is the one um, by the South Sandwich Islands. And then looking at their list, they have uh, 6.9, 6.8, 6.9. They happen all at the same time, the readings. And then here's a 6.9 in Japan that happened an hour earlier. And then this is the South Sandwich Islands. They had a 6.7 down here, and then two more an hour later. It's, uh, and then Hawaii's had a little activity. I noticed yesterday there were about five five pointers, and they were all really deep. So I was kind of expecting maybe a big one to happen down here. Hopefully nothing got damaged and. Uh, we don't have another nuke plant bleeding out into the Pacific, messing everything up. It's the last thing we need. Everyone have a good President's Day. Aloha.